What's going on guys, it is the end of the day welcome back to another video of my channel. So today I am playing Soccer Man 2017 on my channel, and I know it's Saturday, and I normally upload this on a Friday, but I had no time yesterday to upload this, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much why you're seeing it today. Hopefully you guys don't mind, it'll go back to the regular routine of being uploaded on Friday next week. Anyway, I have a home game in the start of this episode, it's Blackburn Rovers, sort of a team as already, I'll quickly show it to you guys. There's a Hori Hoy to noon is my front three. Midfield consisting of Rawls, Gunnison, and Whittingham. Backline, as it always is, of John Manga, Amber Richards, and of course, my Scottish goalkeeper level from Hull City, Alan McGregor. In terms of instructions I've set up on my team, that's it right there. And uh, yeah, hopefully, with a win in this game, we can go perhaps even up to seventh place, depending on whether teams above us or, not, or lose or not, or we can draw. So that's the plan. Hopefully, we can um, pick up a very needed win in order to keep pressure on teams above us. And looks like we're going to be doing just that. Aaron Gunnison in the fourth minute, who unfortunately has actually shaved his beard, which is a real shame because he looked pretty dapper with that all that beard going on. Anyway, let's not worry about his beard because it is now 1 1. Whatever we can do, apparently Black, we can do better. 18th minute, Anthony Stokes making one of the Axelsic striker. We'll have to watch out, it could have been a bit of trouble, but McGregor uh, doing his job right there. He wouldn't say. It's not gone our way completely, actually. Black been having more of the ball and more shots than us. So, let's actually go ahead with that and bring on Harris instead of Noon. Let's see if Kadeem Harris uh, can make any sort of difference. And obviously, if I need to make some changes, I will as the game progresses. Only 15,935 are standing up. Shame, really. It'd be nice to see if we can get, you know, just standing get packed out. Oh well, that's what it is. McGregor making somewhat of a save there, but it was not enough. And Anthony Stokes in the 49th minute is giving Blackburn a 2-1 uh, lead. Could even get even worse here if I'm not careful. And it is Hope Akpan, the ex-Arsenal player. And what started off as a brilliant game for Gunnison scoring is now turning well, turning completely on its head. We'll bring on Bennett as some crash legs at the back. And we'll also bring on Gnogbe as the horror has been pretty ineffective today, which is a bit of a shame in this game. May as well keep uh, my mentality and all as it is. Can't really see the point of changing, but we need to obviously get a goal or two now. And obviously, if we're not careful, this could turn into a pretty embarrassing defeat at home. Nothing against Blackburn, but really we should be beating them, considering they're like 17 in the league on the game. And, you know, we are like in seventh. So, you know, I'm expecting us to come away with a win here. Whittingham then sends it into the box. He has a shot, but it's saved by the goalkeeper Varela, which is a shame. But made all my changes now, so there's nothing really more I can do apart from just watch and hope that we can somehow get a, a goal. Although that's not looking very likely at all, and we could even go down 4-1 here if we're not careful. Richards tackling Craig Conway, the right players, they could be a bit of trouble. And it's a yellow card. Frankly, it's not a red. But, you can't really say, say anything about that game. It's a 3-1 defeat at home to Blackburn Rovers, and as you can see from the, the shots, they had 10 in comparison to our 6, and they had 6 on target in comparison to our 4, so they thoroughly deserve to win that game. And uh, that is a uh, big uh, loss, that is considering, you know, looking at where we are on the table, we should have won that game. So that defeat drops us down into 10th place and we missed the chance really to go up to at least 8th place so we've got a bit of work to do uh, when our next game comes about. And that's our first defeat in our three which is a bit of a shame as well because we've been in a good run of form. Oh well that aside, not the best start to the episode but hopefully we can uh, now at the Pirelli Stadium get 3 points at Burton but by no means it's going to be a very straightforward game. We need to win this one now as well because we really can't afford to lose any more points or we can kiss goodbye and get promoted really. I mean, it's as simple as that. I am away from home. I know Burton are only eight, or, or only, they are down in 18 in the league. So I don't want to take too many chances and go very attacking because as you can see, I did that in the first game. We lost 3-1, we were at home then. So Burton, I'll be in away then at the Pirelli Stadium, the team that came from League One. Can we get a much needed win and much needed three points? Uh, is obviously the question that we'll hopefully find out. Turn it into the box. Hoyle gets taken down one of their centre backs, and I believe that's a penalty, isn't it? Oh no! Uh, apparently Hoyle died or something. I don't know if that was in our box. I don't think it was. And from that, it's one nil, and it's Dyer for Burton who scored in 26 minutes. This has not been the best episode at all in terms of the results that we're getting. Hoyle has been booked, so I don't want to really risk him getting sent off. That's the last thing I'm really looking for. We're bringing on O'Keefe for Rawls as well. And I know I said I didn't really want to do it, but we're going to go on a very attacking mentality in terms of how we attack. And hopefully we can now get uh, two quick fly goals at the start of the second half and um, just uh, crank him away from something. 
with something, sorry, uh, uh, from this game here at the Pirelli Stadium against Burton. We've dominated them in terms of the shots they had, so, you know, I'm getting the idea that that was a pretty lucky goal that they scored. Got a chance here, I was about to pause it, but, so Jorge having an effort on goal, but it's easily saved by the goalkeeper McLaughlin, and he could be laughing at me right now. You get the pun. But Burton can knock bait, so Jorge having, having the Adding. Having a bit of an effort right there to possibly salvage his position in the starting level, but unfortunately, no. I'm taking him off now and I'm bringing Kenneth Zahori. Not Zahori, Frederick Ganongwe. Can't bring him on twice, that doesn't work. Richards has just found one of their players in the penalty area, so that's pretty much out the window. Ward to take the penalty for Burton, and we are now 2 0 down. That is exactly what I was actually looking for. Can we get a consolation goal? Nope. Which <laughs> is just as simple as that. Nope. Let's say we have got a penalty here, so if he scores, we could be in for getting a point or two here. Gnogwe stepping up. Can he score the man from Benin? And he has off the bar and in 2-1 to us. Well, 2-1 to them. Sorry, not us. But they could even make a 3-1 here if we're not careful. But McGregor pulls out to stop to make a very important save. Let's get another goal, please. Nope. Uh, I think you can kind of say we didn't really deserve to lose that game. We had 10 shots. And five on targets in comparison to them, they're three on, on three. Gnogby scored in the 83rd minute with, with a uh, penalty, but it wasn't really enough to get us any points out of that game, which is a real shame. That's two defeats in a row that really we couldn't uh, afford to actually have. So a bit of a shame. Ball, I'm really happy. And, uh, you know, they're hopefully looking to see better performances come out of the team as uh, we go on. So... The question is, where will that defeat put us? Because we were 10th, but we've lost that two in a row. So we are still 10th, but as you can see, we are losing time now on catching up to Sheffield Wednesday, who are in 6 on 56 points. But luckily for us, they did actually lose the previous game, but then I win less than 2. So a lot of work to do in terms of um, us having to now pick up uh, the pieces after doing pretty badly, if you ask me, in those two previous games. Then pick ourselves up, that's all we can do. We need to mean the motivation and all that good stuff. Beavers cleared this out. Scouting examiner has made a scout hall available to, for me to review. He has found a 20 players for my attention. Well, let's have a look then. Beavers, if you found any good players that I could be interested in signing when the first window opens. And already I'm seeing players like Steven and Zonzi, Adol Rami. <laughs> I can't play by any of these players. I doubt they'd want to come to the championship. Transfer is not even open yet. So, I mean, it's good to have them there. And those uh, there, really, can't really sign any of them. I can't sign them now either. Because, you know, they're either costing too much or they just wouldn't um, have The Fernando Torres, yeah, I'd like to sign him. He was one of my favorite players back when he played Liverpool. But I doubt he can be. Because anyway, I'm going to be playing three games in this episode. Let's get into the final game of the episode. We are playing Preston at home. And let's see if we can come away with a win here. And hopefully this episode won't end in a complete disaster. Looking for a win. Can we get that question? So the final game of this episode, I'm rocking with a slightly different formation. I haven't really changed that as of all late. I'm going with the 4-2-3-1 now. So basically, I'm going to roll sit in front of the defense and hopefully protect them from conceding the goal. And we're going to have Zahori up front on his own. A bit of a dodgy maneuver, perhaps, because, you know, he's not really known for banging goals and left right center in this series. But hopefully, up on there on his own, with the support of Noon Whitting and Hoyle behind him, we can maybe see the Dane try to score a couple of goals. So that is pretty much it in terms of what you need to know. Tactics, well, I'm at home and I'm going to leave on normal for now. If we get a goal or two early on in the game, then I will obviously consider putting it up to uh, maybe an attacking mentality in terms of how we play, or perhaps a very attacking. But we're going to have to see how we get on in the side of this game against Preston. And this is a much needed victory. You know, it's, it's just easy to say. If we lose this, I could probably say we're out of the promotion uh, challenge. But Peter Wettingham shows that we are still going to stay in it as he scores in the 12th minute. Maybe in that camp position is where he's best at. And maybe this is formation we shall be playing a lot more. So Hore up front on his own. No, no worries but the looks of things even though I said that he isn't very good up on his own there hasn't good as of late 2-0 to us at half time and that is the perfect way to end the first half here at Carter City Stadium let's go put it on to very attacking mentality lifestyle lifestyle I said that last time I said mentality in terms of how we play not a very attacking lifestyle don't, I don't recommend that kids anyway that aside let's see if we can have really a nice goal fest now and get a couple of goals against Preston because how we played in that first half I don't think that's going to be a problem if you ask me. Oh. Well, Zahore has just gone off injured. I don't know how badly that injury is, but we can't really do anything about that. 
Unfortunately, uh, that's the end of his game. He, he, he was looking good because he did score. But we're going to have to bring on Ganogbe now for the injured Ken of Zahora. Hopefully, it's not too much of a bad injury. We'll have to see. We have a penalty here. The Hoy that's going to stab. Can he score to make it 3 0? And yes, he can. I'd say that game is uh, it's pretty much game set and match. 3 0 to us. Junior Hall in the 60th minute, making it 3 0. But we have a penalty away. Oh, a pressing give a penalty away. Why don't we give one his way as well? It's it's nice and polite. Beckford steps up and he makes it 3 1 in the 66th minute. Hopefully, we can restore that, that free goal lead now. That'd be nice to see. I know there's something happening in the game right there, but let me quickly bring on Kadeem Harris now for Hoylet. And let's also bring on fresh legs at the back in the form of uh, Morrison for Manga, who is unfortunately injured in real life. Just hoping now that you know that injury to Zahori isn't as bad as I'm thinking it might be. Woods is now sent up for Preston, so it is now 11 against 10. Hopefully, we can uh, really now get a couple of goals. And they're up salt in the wounds. You know, they're already losing 3 1. Free kick here, Ganogbe laying across the Morrison, and back to Ganogbe. But it is a good save from the Echo, and you have to go for Andrews Lindegaard. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to be too greedy. I'm happy with that. 3 1 victory. victory. Um, to end off the episode, we completely dominated the game, so you can't really say that we didn't deserve to win that. Three goals, three different goal scores. Whittingham, the fortunately now injured Zahori and Hoylet. And obviously, it was nice for us to concede the penalty. If I have to give us a penalty, so back for some penalty for them. But that is a very much needed win at the end of this episode against Preston. Let's see how bad Zahori's injury is. I'm guessing it will be. We'll have to see. He is out for around about 12 weeks. As I assume, it's going to be a bad injury. So he's got damaged cruciate ligament uh, injury, which is a shame. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Zahori's season, which is a shame. So that's uh, Hughes and Zahori out for the next couple of days. He's not going to be back, as you can see, until April in the game, and we're only in February, so that's a bit of a shame, really. But is what it is. No more Zahori, unfortunately. I could try and finish the... Um, yeah, I could try and finish upgrading the uh, medical centre, but I don't really have enough credits, and I'm not buying them for, just for this game. So, a uh, bit of a shame. Anyway, we've got some good news. Marco Wayman's our Belgian... Defender is now up to 72 range from 71. Maybe I should consider playing him, who knows? And we've got a few results coming in from the Premier League as well. Just waiting to see what we've got next, and then we'll call it quits on this episode of Stock Mind 2017 on a Saturday for a change. Still, uh, nothing really coming about. Maybe it's an international break or something. But a cup final looks like, or some sort of cup game. 3 3 Arsenal United. Oh no, it was United actually in the English League Cup winning that trophy. No cup run for us, which is a shame. Oh, actually, there is. You know what? We now have a very big game coming up against Manchester City, so look forward to that being uploaded next Friday. That should be a very interesting game. We'll see how we get on against uh, Pep Guardiola and his men. If you get what I'm doing with that voice, if you know who the guy is. Anyway, we are sitting in 10th place in the league, 45 points. We are three points off QPR in 7th place. And we are a couple points then, even further away from Sheffield Wednesday. I don't think this promotion challenge is out, out of the window yet. We've still got, you know, oh, at least over 10 games left to go. So don't rule us out from getting promoted yet. Uh, I'm aiming to finish six, maybe even a bit more than that. But we need to aim, aim and be realistic. Next couple of things, let me quickly show them to you what you can expect. So in the uh, championship, we have uh, Newcastle up next at home. So a very uh, important game and must win. Following on from that... Our next three games, then we have Wolves away from home, which should be a very interesting game. And then we have another away game at uh, Ipswich. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out the name of the stadium. Anyway, I don't know what it is. That'll bring the end anyway to this episode of Talk My 2017 on my channel. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching this video. Thank you very much uh, for enjoying this series. I know a lot of you guys do. And it's been a cheer for me. Look forward to Chris Sunday being uploaded tomorrow. It is finally back after the uh, week that I didn't obviously upload. You're going to see me wearing the same shirt because I'm going to record for Sunday straight after recording this one and I can't really be bothered to change my shirt just for that. So, yeah, that's pretty much explained what, about that. Thank you very much for watching the video. Take care. Peace. Yeah.